Hi guys and welcome to the Vengeance Demon Hunter guide for reworks and changes in Battle for Azeroth. I'll be going through the survivor, the changes to the talents, and I'll be going to us for a survivability build and then a full damage build. So for your first talent, they're pretty much the same. Abyssal Strike, Infernal Strike range is increased by 10 yards, and cooldown is reduced by two seconds. I don't take this because Ag Agonizing Flames is just so much better. You want to keep you want to keep your um, immolation up all the time, and obviously. When your movement speed increases with that, it just gives you more mobility. And especially because it's going to deal increased damage, it's just always good to have. Um, razor Spikes, uh, I don't really like using that because, you know, you don't really need to snare the targets. And you're not going to be doing that much physical, you're just going to be doing big damage. So don't take Razor Spikes, take agon Agonizing. So next one, Feast of Souls. Soul Cleave heals you for an additional 828 over 6 seconds. Immolation Aura has a chance to shatter lesser soul from enemies and burning alive. I just take Feast of Souls because I just like the extra soul feels. You know, and especially with the value, like the value of it, with the 828, that's like actually quite a lot in Alpha. So it heals you for quite a bit more. So I just take that. as just an extra hot on myself. Next one, Fellblade. It's been brought down. I just don't really ever take that because it's just not good in any real situation it's got quite a long cooldown charge flash fiery burn increases the fire damage you deal to the target it's just not that good flame crash is just way way better because i'm going to be using infernal strike a lot and if i've got a brand underneath that as well it's just really really good in general just you know to just leap on put a brand down and you're just doing really well so your next one soul rend leech increased by five percent gain additional 25 percent leech while in meta it's just not really that useful like you don't need it, especially because you've got Feast of Souls, and if you've got a healer with you, it's just not worth taking that. Feed the demon, consuming a soul fragment reduces the rain cooldown down demon spikes by 0 0.5 seconds. You don't really need that because demon spike comes back up like so frequently with uh, ta with your just in your spells, just generally casting it comes up quite quick, so you don't need to feed the demon. But fracture is really good because it shatters two fragments, and especially for later on in the build. This is just really, really good because you want the mo all the most um, fragments you can get. I'll explain why later. So the next ones, all sigils, quick and signals, all sigils activate 1% faster and their cooldowns reduced by 20. And sigil of change, which is obviously what, what it is now in Legion. But I take concentrated sigils because it just means I can click on my sigils and not have to worry about placing them. They're just on top of me and their effect is increased. So that's good for the snares and the fears. But I especially take it just so I can use my Sigil of Flame just instantly and not worry about it. So the reason you take Fracture is for Gluttony. Is that consuming a Soul Fragment has a chance to activate Meta for 5 seconds. Especially because you're getting 2 Soul Fragments every Fracture. The chance to get a Meta is just insane. So you just you just won't die. Because really once you get into Meta as a DH tank in on a BFA, you just aren't going to die. Like ever. So it's just really good to get into meta as much as possible and Fracture and Gluttony allows us to do that. The next one, Last Resort, Void Reaver and Soul Barrier. You just want to take Last Resort all the time. It's just too OP not to. It just saves you, you know, countless times it will save you a kill. So yeah. So now I'll just showcase. So of course you want to start off with just leaping onto the target. So you put down your brand. Fracture so you get to um, Fragment. And as you can see, I'm already, I'm already in meta. So you just want to make sure that you use some fracture as much as possible so that you can get into meta. I've got into meta again, so I'm literally just not going to die at any time. And of course, you can still use fracture while you've got meta and it will just refresh the cooldown of it. So as you can see, just heal myself up. Immolation Aura, collect my souls. Smash so I can put down all my brands. Just make sure I'm using all my spells, especially my brands. Use fracture so I can get my soul fragments. Fracture to get my soul fragments. Go over to get that. Also brand the target. Immolation aura. Fracture. Fracture again. And now I've got my meta. So I literally just won't die from the soul cleaves I'll be self healing from. Reactivate demon spikes. Immolation aura. Brand. Fracture. See if I get meta again. No. 
Because even with all this meta you use, you've still got your original meta up. Like, which is just crazy. And especially when you go in meta, as you can see, even if you fracture, it extends the time you're in meta. So it's just insane, insane the amount of usage you can get off it. Like, DH tank is in a really, really good position at the moment. It's the same in Legions. When you're in meta, you are unkillable. Like, you can just pull the whole entire dungeon. And tied in with just everything else, it's just really, 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 really good. I'll be releasing a um, dungeon guide later for DH. And I'll just show the potential you have. And you can literally just pull all the dungeon. And just soda them all. I'm now just going to a full damage build. Not going into survivability. And just go full, full damage. Full out. So I use my talent. And you just want to take... You just want to take Agonize and Flames again, because obviously you're going to hit everyone with Immolation Aura, so keep that up. Next one you want is um, is Fallout, because you're not going to worry about healing. Immolation Aura has a chance to give you uh, more, more um, lesser soul fragments, so you want to take that. Um, next one you want, yeah, Flame Crash is good again, because your Sigil of Flame is going to hit all the targets. So you just, you'll just Infernal Strike onto a pack, hit them with your um, Flame Brand, and yep. Yeah. The next one you want is you can take Fracture again for them extra fragments. Next one, con Concentrated Vigil is good again because you're going to use it on your target. And your next one, you want to take um, you want to take Spirit Bomb because of the amount of fragments you're going to get from your Immolation Aura especially and your Fracture. And the next one you want to take is just Last Resort again just in case you die. So I just showcase. So you want to start off with your flame crash onto the target. Put your brands down. Flame brand, immolation, demon spikes. So I'll just fracture the target and get ready to use my spirit bomb soon when I have a lot more um, fragments up. Demon spikes, use fracture, immolation aura, spirit bomb, and just hit the target. So yeah, it's, DH is in a really good position at the moment. They'll probably be one of the, one of the best tanks at the start of the expansion, for how much um, for how much damage and survivability you're gonna have, especially with gluttony and um, and fracture. Just fracture's a really good talent. They'll probably reduce the amount of soul fragments you get because at the moment it's a bit crazy. But yeah, that's it for DH tanks. I'll be releasing a dungeon guide for this later when I um, clear dungeons with it. But yeah, <coughs> for the moment this is Vengeance DH. Like and subscribe if you want more guides and see you in the next one.